the heaviness of the burden of the doubt and suffering um, lightens up tremendously. And in a personal, uh, from a personal perspective, it really does come to an end. Um, it's hard to explain how that is because it doesn't mean that you blissfully float around, float along, ignoring everyone else's suffering. You're still aware of suffering. Um, but there's a depth of, um, interconnectedness. There's a, there's a trust in life. It's so profound. It's so settled, uh, that it, it, it really goes beyond birth and death. The birth and death of this body mind is insignificant in comparison to that profound knowing. And I know that is possible for anyone. So I'm encouraged to, um, or I'm inclined to encourage anyone to realize that. And I, I, I can't tell you the exact answer to, to what past lives are and what they're about. I can't tell you, I can, I can tell you my opinions on it, but, or my, even my instincts and experience, but I can't give you an answer that's going to fully satisfy you, but I can show you how to find the place yourself where you will find satisfaction that goes beyond anything you can imagine. And that's about waking up more and more and more and not stopping. Um, don't, don't, uh, stop halfway and go, Oh, this is good enough. Um, if there's something there, if there's something that feels divisive still, if there's some, if there's struggle, if there's, um, resistance patterns still, there's always a way to address that. And, um, there's a deeper truth hidden in the suffering. Uh, and so this is just a matter of looking closer, going inward, deeper and deeper. Uh, and you will come to a place where all of that will be answered beyond your satisfaction. Some of it you may not even need an answer for, or a lot of it you won't.